In order for a robot to learn from human demonstration, it must be able to understand what the human is showing it how to do. This can be difficult because a robot cannot interpret sensory data anywhere near as well as a person can. We used ROS.js, a web browser robotics package freely available from our lab, to collect large amounts of demonstration data from users all over the world. Connecting through a web browser, humans teleoperated a robot through a maze. The browser interface showed one of two conditions. Here, the user receives a live feed from the robot's camera. For the most part, they were able to navigate quickly and smoothly, though with the occasional collision. Otherwise, the user saw only the robot's view of the world. It is able to distinguish the black and white numbered markers scattered throughout the maze due to their high contrast and salient square shape. The user saw these markers as the robot did, as featureless trapezoids located at a particular point in the visual field. After training with scores of users, the robot used one of the two datasets to learn a maze navigation policy. Here, the robot makes its own way through the maze using training provided by people who could see only the blue squares. In contrast, the robot trained by people who saw the full camera video does much less well. Here we see the robot picking its way through an entirely new maze which its human teachers never saw. In this case, the tag-based training works even better in comparison to the camera. We suggest that carefully managing a user's interactions with a robot to minimize the differences in sensory capability should improve the effectiveness of learning from demonstration.